Thank you. Thank you. Biden says farewell to sanity while Trump chills with Hannity. During a fundraiser in Boston, President Biden admitted he might not have sought re-election if Trump wasn't in the race. Said Joe, quote, if Trump wasn't running, I'm not sure I'd be running. Joe, for the sake of your hip, I'm not sure you should even be walking. <laughs> Forget a campaign. Joe barely has the strength to run a fever. But after all those wise words, the president concluded with, thank you, Chicago. And he said he hoped their Dolphins would win this year's Stanley Cup. <laughs> then, during a town hall with Hannity in Iowa, Trump was Trump. And by that, I mean his usual hilarious self. Unlike Biden, though, he was hilarious because of what he said, not because he kept shaking hands with Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> but when it comes to Biden lasting until the election, I wonder if Trump personally thinks he makes it. I personally don't think he makes it. I think he's in bad shape physically. Do you remember when he said, I'd like to take him behind the barn? If he took me behind the barn and I went like this, <laughs> I believe he'd fall over. I believe he'd fall over. But who knows? Who knows? I'm surprised there's no headlines that read, Trump wants to blow Biden behind a barn. <laughs> Sick people. But did he ever watch him at the beach? I watched him at the beach. He wasn't able to lift a beach chair, which is meant for children to lift. You can lift him like that. Uh, and mentally, I would say he's possibly equally as bad and maybe worse. Mm. Trump also touched on the indictments he's facing, once again, likening himself to Al Capone. But was he one of the greatest of all time? Al Capone, he was one of the Greatest of all time, if you like criminals. He was a <laughs> mob boss, the likes of which Scarface, they call him. And he got indicted once. I got indicted four times. <laughs> Classic Trump. You know, uh, the most famous gangster of all time. You got one indictment, I got four. <laughs> then there was this moment when Trump was asked about the media painting him as a dictator. Under no circumstances, you are promising America tonight. You would never abuse power as retribution against anybody. Except for day one. <laughs> Except for He's going crazy. Except for day one. Meaning? I want to close the border, and I want to drill, that's drill, not a, that's, drill. That's not, no, no. that's not retribution. <laughs> we love this guy. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. We're closing the border, and we're drilling, drilling, drilling. After that, I'm not a dictator, so that, okay? That, that sounds to me like you're going back to the policies <laughs> when you were president. <laughs> oh, well. It there you go. Of course, it wouldn't be Trump if he didn't say something to make heads spin like a barn owl on meth. But mark my words, the media will interpret this as Trump declaring martial law. And naturally, the media has been wetting themselves over that moment. Speaking of wetting themselves, anything to add, Joe? Oh, yeah, you heard him. He's a dictator. Day one dictator. He's going to close the border. And I opened the border, right? That's what I did day one, opened the border. Good guys open things. Dictators close things. Everybody knows that. I like opening things. You know, windows, uh, refrigerators, uh, car doors. Uh, I can't open jars, though. They're too tight. I have Jill do it for me. She's tough. Jill, she got her doctorate in uh, Kung Fu Gripology. It's a true story. That's not a joke. <laughs> Kurt, how do you see this going forward in, over the year? I mean, you just listening to Trump, you, you get, when you get a dose, you can't help but laugh. Well, look, if I was an insurance underwriter, I'd be very, very depressed about Joe Biden right now. Mm -hmm. This guy is old. He is uh, Methuselah old. He is riding dinosaurs old. Uh, he is a crusty, desiccated old pervert <laughs> who was stupid to begin with, and now he's senile, and that's kind of going easy on him. <laughs> uh, he's, he's a terrible person in every way. And this stuff about being Trump being a dictator, you know, it would be terrible if Trump went out and, oh, I don't know, persecuted his political enemies and tried to silence them. That would be awful. <laughs> now, uh, I, uh, you know, uh, Trump would launch an attack on democracy. Um, I'm not, uh, look, I'm from California, so I don't understand democracy because we have Gavin Newsom. <laughs> I'm just worried that, you know, 
Joe Biden's going to wander off chasing an imaginary squirrel mm -hmm. and, and be replaced with Gavin Newsom. Mm -hmm. And he's going to run on the slogan, I'm going to make California or make America just like California and have a hobo in every pot. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah, I hate hobos, Cyrus. <laughs> You I'm a hobosexual. Do you know any? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hobophobic. Yeah. And a hobosexual. Yeah, I think you're right the first time there, Gutfeld. <laughs> hobosexual is a real thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we, we literally have a little guy on the show like every other week. The, you know, the glasses. The, um... oh, I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> no. <laughs> little, bigger little guy. Medium little guy. Yeah. Listen, this is uh, a brilliant scheme by Biden, which is for me to say that hurts my face. Mm -hmm. But he's saying I have to run to stop Trump. Mm -hmm. So he's creating the monster. Even though I'm old, I'm tired, I'm senile, I have to, to save this country. Right. And all his surrogates are out there. Democracy, so Trump's the new, he's Hitler 2.5, and he's going to do all the things that they accuse him of doing that ironically they do. But he, that way he'll be like, I'm not debating a dictator. I'm not debating Trump. He's a criminal. So he's laying the thing. He's not going to be in the basement. He's going to be in the sunroom. So he'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to look at him through the window and he'll be like, nope, not doing it because look who he is. And so this is actually, a, uh, I don't know who came up with it. They must have hired an angry Republican. But <laughs> this is their plan. And this is how he's going to lay it out. So there'll be no debate Ooh. because he can't debate President Trump. I mean, my, what? <laughs> He'd have to arrest Trump for abuse if they had a debate, which they might do. And he won't have to, he won't have to go around the country mm -hmm. because he has to stay and protect the White House. Trump could show up any time and try to take the, on his watch. So he's got to be there. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a pretty, this is their plan. This is what we're going to see. So you're going to see Gavin Newsom on the trail, Kamala on the trail. You're going to see all the surrogates on the trail. He's going to be at the White House guarding it to make sure none of Trump and his minions, the maggots, try to get back in. So uh, it's, it's scary enough to what scares me is it might work. Yeah, you know, Kat, he says we can't let him win. Is that the bat signal to tell everybody everything's on the table? Do what you want to stop Trump. I don't know about that. I just know that you missed the, my, the funniest thing I thought that Trump said what? by far. I mean, everyone's talking about the part where he said he asked Kennedy, who's the dumbest guy in the Senate, and he mm -hmm. said it was Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. But the funniest part to me is he said he asked who's the smartest guy in the Senate, and the guy gave me a name, but I don't really want to share it because I don't like the guy at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is like the kind of weird, because every guy in the, in the Senate now who was around during that time is like, was it me? Was I the smart guy? Did Kennedy think I was the smartest guy? And they probably all do think it was them. Mm -hmm. But that is when one of the moments where it's so clear that Trump has this background in reality TV, mm -hmm. because that's exactly the kind of thing you'd see a producer kind of plant on a Bravo show before they all have the dinner where they get bla blackout drunk together and yes. yell at each other. We, you know, we don't deserve him. He just said, I, 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 he gave me a name, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't like the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, how do you think Trump felt after this? Do you think he was proud of how it went? Man, he's, he's getting funnier by the day. And if you love him or hate him, yeah. give him a Netflix special. I yeah. mean, <laughs> it's getting hard to do impressions of Trump or make fun of him or make jokes because he's getting funnier. I want you to do one now, though. I wish, I, frankly, I, <laughs> just a tease, a little tease. <laughs> but... Just a little tease. Day one tease. A little tease. <laughs> but I, this is the first time in history. I'm not sure our candidates are going to make it to the election. One of them could mm -hmm. be in jail. Yeah. And one of them could be dead. You yeah. know? Yeah. Biden could be assassinated by the stairs at this point. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, and if Trump goes to jail, he'll still run from jail. Yeah. He'll make it sound cool. We're going to jail. Nobody's going as quick as me two days. <laughs> right? El Chapo couldn't do it. Al Capone couldn't do it. The Zodiac Killer, he couldn't even do it. It took him eight days. I went in two days. I went in two days. <laughs> We're making shackles so great. He won't be able to do the full. He'll have to do little shackle yeah. hands. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.